the whole theory behind this thing is we can set up our set up our, our drive gear on the head down here. That's the drive gear and the rack that runs it. You can see the two indicators on the test equipment. <laughs> and the rod is fitted with a Delrin button that's a press fit into the bore of the barrel that we're checking. And in theory, the way this thing works, as you run the carriage down the rack, pull the button through the barrel, this indicator will turn with the twist in the barrel, and this indicator turns with the carriage and the rack and the rate generated by the gear. <coughs> to determine the actual twist rate, if we want these to match as they rotate, that will indicate that they match the gear that's on the machine. And this is what we're going to attempt to do now. We'll go ahead and set... This is going to be a fine video. <coughs> We'll set the, the two indicator bars in line <coughs> with each other. Tighten up our drive gear. Now we'll go ahead and pull this out the barrel we only have about five inches of travel before we come out the end of the barrel so it won't be a long run this is the 14 gear for the machine it's actually a 13.94 that's what we cut our 14 twist with and here we will go <coughs> Two rods, indicator rods, stayed in alignment. I'll go ahead and set up the 18 gear, and we'll be able to see the difference in travel. Those are 13.94 aka 14 gear. <coughs> this is the 18 gear. And make the same five inch or so pull. And you can see they've come out of alignment. I just came out the end of the barrel. So it's definitely a 14 twist and not an 18. more fine photography here. This is the Delrin button that's attached to the end of the oops, sorry about that focus thing. <laughs> that's attached to the end of the tube and turns with the rifling inside the bore. 